Hey everyone, this is Edmund LaDuke and this is my tutorial for One Footers brought to you by Municycle Glossier. Just remember that this tutorial will be for a specific type of One Footers. A lot of people do them different ways, so feel free to do them the way you want. So there's basically two uh, main uh, things you can practice before learning One Footers. First one being high hops. Make sure you can hop a good 10 to 20 inches. And of course, no footers can be really useful if you're planning on learning one footers really fast. So the first aspect of one footers is what I call crank returning. It's basically the movement that your back foot is going to do while you're in midair. So as you can see, there's three steps. Bring the pedal forwards and push it back to its horizontal position before landing. If you want to do one footers on a long distance, you got to make sure you put a little amount of pressure, not like uh, one footers that go on short distances, just to make sure you don't land with your cranks vertical. So for one footers, you really want to make sure you catch that pedal before you hit the ground. Uh, I suggest you start with really small one footers before you move on to bigger ones. You basically want to make sure you've got them really consistent. So as far as you get comfortable, you can go for bigger one footers. And of course, if you want to make your one footers look even better, add your own style to them. Make sure you catch that pedal, because otherwise, uh, yeah, they, they, can, they can be painful if you're not wearing pads. So, in my opinion, one footed tricks uh, can look really cool in the street if you do them the right way. Obviously, you can do them up obstacles, you can do them down obstacles, you can do them over obstacles. And the other great thing is that you don't need a high level to learn one footers, you just need a bit of practice and commitment, and bam, you've landed them. Alright, so thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, make sure you subscribe to the Municycle.ca channel, we've got more tutorials coming up. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.